In today's video, we will be taking a look at a three-way presidential election matchup between Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Robert Kennedy Jr. This is a three-way presidential matchup. Now, if we look at the polling right now between Trump, Biden, and Kennedy, you will see that Kennedy as an independent actually pulls away 15% of the vote, according to polls. And then the more recent polls that has been conducted in either December or January suggests that Kennedy is actually pulling closer to around 20% of the vote, which is quite significant, especially considering he's an independent. Now, part of the reason why is that really Trump and Biden are both not very popular men in the United States. Both of them, their popularities aren't that good right now, according to a lot of data, including approved ratings, which can probably explain why Kennedy is pulling so high. Now, there could be another problem here for Kennedy, though. I don't think he's going to end up winning 20% or even 15% of the vote. I think he's going to win if he does end up running for the presidential election, not just the Democratic primary. He's going to get closer to 10% of the vote. The reason about that is pretty simple. Democrats are not going to vote for an anti-vaccine activist. Republicans are not going to vote for a guy that ran for the Democratic primaries, even though he does have hold some conservative values. And I think, generally speaking, Kennedy, if we look at the actual polling here between just Joe Biden and Donald Trump, both are from RCP, though the layout is slightly different, you will see that with just Trump versus Biden, Trump is up by 1.2 points. If between Trump and Biden and Kennedy, tr Trump is up by 0 0.9 points. So the results are still remarkably similar, regardless if Kennedy is in the race or not. That's just because Kennedy appeals to more moderate voters in general, and therefore, really, Kennedy doesn't make a substantial impact. Now, this is the map of the safe states filled in. I don't think that Robert Kennedy will actually win a single state, but I do think that he'll influence some of the margins won by both candidates, and he's going to split away some of the voters. Donald Trump, I'm going to just give him his likely states, Alaska, South Carolina, nothing really surprising there. I also believe that in the states of Iowa and Ohio, these two states will go to Donald Trump by a likely margin. Really, Robert Kennedy, I think, will split away similar amounts of votes in both of these states. And Trump had a very, very nice showing back in 2020 by winning both of those states there by 8 percentage points, which was pretty remarkable for a Republican, and that he was able to replicate his performance from 2016 in a less favorable national environment. I further believe that the state of Florida will be a likely Republican characterization. I don't think that is much of a surprise to any of you viewers. You will know that the state of Florida has trended Republican significantly over the past one or two decades. Especially over the Trump era or around the last eight years, the state of Florida from a bellwether state has turned into a lean red or potentially likely to safe red state in the next coming decades. Now, the last state I think that Trump will end up winning is the state of Texas. The reason is I think that Robert Kennedy could split away more votes from Joe Biden than Donald Trump here. And the reasoning is actually fairly simple. There's a lot of moderate voters in the state of Texas, especially in the uh, uh, Fort Worth, Dallas suburbs, as well as Houston, San Antonio, and Austin. These are voters that are disillusioned with Donald Trump who may have slightly conservative values. And I think someone like Robert Kennedy can fit with them perfectly. Without Robert Kennedy, they might vote for Joe Biden in fear of Donald Trump. They're voting against Trump. But Robert Kennedy offers a viable al alternative to Joe Biden. And many of these voters may actually vote for um, Robert Kennedy over Joe Biden. And therefore, that's going to cost Joe Biden some votes in the state of Texas. Now, main second district, we're going to get out of the way here. That's going to be a likely Republican district. I'm also going to get Nebraska's second district out of the way here. It's a lean blue district. Just going to get those two out of the right way. Now, going to some of the likely Democratic states, Colorado, New Mexico, Virginia, as well as Maine's at-large vote. I don't think any of those characterizations are especially surprising. Furthermore, I'm going to give the state of Minnesota to Joe Biden by a likely margin. Really, I think... Robert Kennedy in states like this will split away an even amount of vote from Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And given that Joe Biden is able to do pretty well in the state of Minnesota, I do not find it surprising that he's going to win the state in this scenario. Now going to the state of New Hampshire, again, a state that has trended towards Democrats heavily. And because Trump's really unpleasant remarks about the state, I do think that the state of 
the state of New Hampshire, just like what we saw in 2020, will end up voting for Joe Biden. Furthermore, Trump is not polling very well there in the Republican primaries. Hilly is actually has a has a shot of actually winning the state, according to some of the polls, which is interesting, which shows that, again, voters in the state do not really like someone like Donald Trump. So I'm going to give that to Joe Biden. Now, going to the uh, remaining states here, these are going to be the more contentious states for the 2024 presidential election if Robert Kennedy were in the race. Really nothing surprising so far. In the state of Nevada. Now, the state of Nevada here, we do see that Clark County, again, is trending Republican. It's interesting to see what role someone like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will actually play in a state like Nevada, where, again, I think that Robert Kennedy might split more vote from Donald Trump here. The reason is I think that many of these rural voters could end up supporting someone like Robert Kennedy. Well, some of the more urban voters actually might go for their respective candidates, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. I don't think it's going to make a large impact, but I do believe that Joe Biden will end up coming victorious. And I think that maybe Robert Kennedy in this particular state may split around 55% of the vote from Donald Trump and maybe 45 from Joe Biden. That will be sufficient for Joe Biden to carry the state. Now, going to the state of Arizona. The state of Arizona, I think, will be the opposite. There's a lot of Republican, moderate Republicans who do not support Trump and voted for Joe Biden in 2020, but now they don't like Joe Biden either. And again, Robert Kennedy offers that viable alternative candidate type of situation where they could feel like they're voting against Donald Trump, but also not voting for a Democrat. Therefore, they could end up supporting these moderate Republicans. They could end up supporting someone like Robert Kennedy, and therefore, I do believe that Trump, because of vote splitting, will win the state of Arizona. Now to the state of Georgia. Now, Georgia is also very interesting because this is a state where black turnout is extremely important for Democrats to end up winning the state. We see that black voters are actually voting at pretty decent rates for Donald Trump, according to some of the polling. In 2020, Trump won less than 10% of the black vote. But in fact, in right now, he's pulling it at about 22% on average. And that's a tremendous sign for um, Donald Trump to win back the state of Georgia. And I think that with someone like Robert Kennedy, Kennedy because I don't think at the end of the day, 22% of black voters are actually going to support someone like Donald Trump. I really do believe that these ca- uh, voters could end up voting against Joe Biden and against Donald Trump for someone like Robert Kennedy. So Robert Kennedy could end up splitting some of the vote away from Joe Biden and towards him. And therefore, it's going to probably cost Joe Biden the state of Georgia as well. Now, going to the state of North Carolina, this is, again, a pretty interesting state. Now, if you look at the state of North Carolina here, this is a state, again, with black, a black population that may be trending towards someone like uh, Donald, uh, Donald Trump over Joe Biden, and again, these black voters, they could end up voting for someone, uh, they could end up voting here for, I think they could end up voting for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. over someone like Joe Biden, and that's going to be significant because, again, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. here, I think, will split more of the Democratic vote than the Republican vote, and therefore, I'm going to give the state to Donald Trump. So you can see right now Joe Biden is not at the best position, but we're going to now move to the Rust Belt. Now, first of all, in the state of Michigan, the state of Michigan voted for Joe Biden by 2.8 percentage points. A lot of college educated white voters, they really understand the concept that if you vote for someone like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., you're arguably wasting your vote because Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is not going to carry a state, let alone the presidency. And I think that because voters understand that, they're not really going to do much harm either way. Well, for someone like Donald Trump with rules appeal, some of these voters, they might not understand the concept as well. And I think that Robert F. Kennedy on the ballot would end up hurting Donald Trump and favoring Joe Biden, and I think Joe Biden will be able to carry the state of Michigan. Now going to the state of Pennsylvania, a similar concept. Pennsylvania is a pretty college-educated region, uh, with especially areas like Pittsburgh and the Philadelphia suburbs being very college-educated, and that's going to help Joe Biden because, again, they understand the concept that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is not going to win the state, nor the presidency, and voting for him is essentially a waste of a vote, while some rural voters the more predominant 
the Trump supporting group, they're not really as engaged um, in terms of p- political knowledge. They might not, and uh, they some of them they might vote for Robert Kennedy as a protest vote, and that they don't really understand the concept as well. And I think that because of that, they're. Um, Joe Biden is actually going to be benefited by Robert Kennedy, despite being a Democrat, being on the ballot. And I did, therefore, I do think that Joe Biden will also carry the state of Pennsylvania because I think Robert Kennedy will split slightly more vote from Donald Trump than from Joe Biden. And the final thing is the state of Wisconsin. And really, in the state of Wisconsin, I think that Robert Kennedy could again be the savior for Joe Biden. Now, many of the Wild wow County Republicans, they're not sure if they're going to vote for Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Generally speaking, if between these two candidates, they might still su- support someone like Donald Trump. Although some of these can- uh, counties trended away from the Republican Party, especially Waukesha, trended six points towards Democrats. And that's how Trump could lost around 20,000 votes and pretty much lost the state. With... However, with just Joe Biden and Donald Trump on the ballot this time, they might vote for someone like Donald Trump because they don't like Joe Biden either and because Joe Biden is a Democrat. Now, with an independent like Robert Kennedy, they might be able to actually consider Robert Kennedy as a moderate and end up casting their vote for him as opposed to Donald Trump. And that could help Joe Biden end up actually winning the presidency. And therefore, I'm going to give the state of Wisconsin to Joe Biden because of vote splitting. Now, I think without Robert Kennedy... On the ballot, Joe Biden will do better in states like Arizona and Georgia. While with Trump, uh, Robert Kennedy, on the but Joe Biden will end up doing better in the Rust Belt, while Donald Trump will do better in the Sun Belt. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.